Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Tiger Stadium is alive with anxious fans here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. From the seventh. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The Tigers right now, Kirk, I think they just got to play within themselves. Sometimes you get at home and you get just a little bit too fired up at the beginning of a game. I agree with you. I think sometimes there's a tendency for certain teams to press a little bit because they're trying so hard to keep this home crowd in the game and they've been waiting all week and they're so excited. Sometimes you force a play. Let's let the play naturally come to you and react to it. So we'll see if this team playing at home jumps the gun a little bit or if they just let the game come to them. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Nice run there. Irving gains about four yards on the play. That brings him second and five. the 46 yard line. Kirk, you and I have talked to the coaches. We've talked to his teammates. Everybody says this kid's a real deal. We're about ready to find out. First and 10. Ball on the 46 yard line. Hardy on a counter. Nice run to the outside. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. You know that saying, get your keys out because we're on a drive? This offense right now is on a drive. I mean, it, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. We might see another run here as it's first and goal. Slings it. LSU's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Just outside the goal line. That makes it third and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Hey, check, check back, eleven, check back, eleven. Come on, baby. Let's see what you got. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. He makes the PAT. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's head to the farm in Palo Alto. And for Stanford, they've dropped two straight. And for Adams, he finishes the game with a handful of touchdowns, five of them on the day. 
After this performance, only one way to describe him. Flat boy dog warrior. The Raging Cajuns pull it out by a field goal. That's good stuff, Reese. Thank you. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Now he tries to buy some time. Slides down to the ground. the middle. Brought down right around the 40. A great stop there, and that's going to bring up fourth down. Before you start to blame the offensive line, really give this defense some credit. They just did a great job. Grant to punt. Lost the ball, fumble, and he's tackled at the 42-yard line. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 42. LSU is up seven. And he's tackled at the 39. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. up playing there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Third down and they need to get it inside the 48. Ready. He rifles it and it falls incomplete. Harvey was the intended target on the play and that'll bring up a punting situation. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play and they defended it very well. Parsons back deep to return. Takes it at the 23. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Tigers really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. On the ground, up the middle. That's a great tackle. It's a 39-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Roger, Roger. Play 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. I'm coming, baby. I'm coming, baby. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Johnson's intended receiver. That makes it fourth and inches. Hardy will be the return man. Hardy fields it at the 26, brought down at the 37-yard line. Well, I'm sure the offense will be looking to avoid the turnover that ended their last drive. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. He fights forward to about the 39. Two yards. That brings up 
second and nine. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 39-yard line. LSU is up a score. Let's go! Tackle around the 34-yard line. This is five yards on the play. Third down. Check. Tight right. Tight right. Tight right. Pull it up there. Check the outs out there. Three down. Three down. We've played one. LSU leads it 7 0. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. Fourth and long here after the sack. Browning is waiting for the snap. They'll bring him down at the 42. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. He's going to try and scramble. They'll make the sack. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. So that sack sets him back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. He's scrambling. They'll bring him down at the 44. That'll bring up third and eight. Just throws this one away. the snap he makes it out to maybe the 33 yard line with one quarter down I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads might be neck and neck the whole way LSU up seven points made at about the 43 yard line he gets another set of downs and more importantly opens up a whole host of play calling possibilities for the coaching staff from their own 43 yard line first down So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. The running back gets two on the carry.
second down at right around the 38 yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38. Gains his way to the 30-yard line. LSU is up by a touchdown. He steps out right around the 28-yard line. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Gets it out quickly. And the wideout gets a chance to show what he can do. Oh, he sure does, and he doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. First down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Touchdown, Tigers! converts the extra point. An eight-play, 68-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Quick strike to the receiver, and down he goes, around the 25-yard line. It really wasn't badly played by the defense, but sometimes a good throw and catch just beats you. From their own 25-yard line, second down. He's on the run. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. First down. Strike to his receiver, no good. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 39. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Looks left, picked off. Big opening. The 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play, and that will certainly help build his team's momentum. the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Parsons takes it at the 8. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 41-yard line. 
Brad, as good as this defense has looked, I'm not necessarily surprised by this shutout. I mean, you and I were there on Wednesday watching this team practice, and when this first-team defense goes against their own first-team offense in a practice, sometimes it's actually better than the game itself. So they prepared themselves very well to have this kind of game. They come out at a five-wide set. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Out of bounds around the 46-yard line. say that went about as well as the defense hoped it would. Very nicely done here by the defense. They did a good job of keeping them in check on their side of the field. Hardy is back deep to return the punt. Gets to about the 24-yard line. LSU's offense, Kurt, maybe not what we were expecting today, but boy, do they have it working on the ground. All week long, we came into this game thinking the quarterback would be the one to make all the plays, but right now it's been running the football, and it's working. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Taken down at about the 33 yard line. And that'll do it for the first half. Well, the Tigers with a three touchdown advantage. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The first half performance, the best word I can think of is ruthless. A three score edge. It was devoid of emotion. It was very methodical. Uh, this is a team that understands what it needs to accomplish out there. Absolutely. Do what you do. Come out, take care of business. It doesn't have to be flashy. It has to be but they take care of the little things, and the little things add up to something big, and next thing you know, they're up by three scores. I expect the lead to continue to grow over the second half. This is a team that, that doesn't mess around, that always takes care of business. You can trust this team. This is a team that week after week has put these type of performances together to say, you know what, they're a team that I trust. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That makes it second and ten. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He scrambled. He's out to the 30. Brought down around the 33-yard line. That makes it first and 10. 
And he hits him hard at the 43. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. Four down, four down. That's 22, back 22. Let's go! And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. And he is drilled at the 41. Scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 31. Change the field position with this kick. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. He fights forward to about the 20. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. Got it, and he goes down quickly. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back, steps out of bounds at the 33. Well, as you just saw right there, the screen pass can be a very effective weapon for an offense, especially when they're disciplined and when the receivers are patient. From their own 33-yard line, first down. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings up second and five. at the 47. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 11. They go with the run, and he's taken down behind the line. Lost a four on the play. That'll bring up the line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. 
Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. They'll bring him down at the 47-yard line. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it fourth and four. Browning is the punter. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Gives it off. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 34. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. off to the left and they wrestle him down behind the line. And that brings an end to the third quarter. The Tigers with a three touchdown advantage. into the fourth quarter now and we're back to the action he's going to try and scramble he's to the 40 tackle made around the 44 yard line He's scrambling. Decides to slide. Call it a gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Four down, four down. Watch 22, watch 22. Run it up. Move it up. Get up. Hey, turn it up, turn it up. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 47. Throws complete, he stopped immediately. That's good for him, seven yards. That makes it third and three. Tight, tight down, tight down, there you go. That's 22, that's 22. Easy, 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 easy. 45, After a decent pickup. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down. Larry, Larry. Let's up. Mike 22, he's coming. 22, he's coming. Mike, Mike. Here we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Here's the halfback on the screen. Here he goes. And he's taken down at the 28. He's at the 30. We gotta get to the ball, team. We gotta get to the ball. Let's keep moving. Watch 22, watch 22. Easy, easy, easy. Over, over, over. Over the middle to his tailback. That last pass got him only a yard. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here, and he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards. But the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. Nice run there. Kelly gains around six yards on the run. That'll bring up third and four. Right, right. 
Less than three minutes in the game. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes. Around the 13-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Fires it out, and he's level at the eight. Logan picks up around five yards with that catch. That brings him second and five. This is the 13th play of this drive. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. Touchdown, ASU. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. Arizona State's defense has not played up to their height, that's for sure. One thing you can always count on from this team is a great defensive performance. I think you and I and everybody today got to be shocked to see these guys and how bad they played on that side of the football. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. The Sun Devils will use their first time out of the half. From the 39-yard line, second down. Make the stop at the 37. Irby gains only two yards there on the delay. The Sun Devils use their second timeout. Five wide. And he hauls that one in. He's tackled at the 16 yard line. Arizona State will use their final timeout. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Just over two minutes in the game. The 10 makes it out to about the 7. That brings in second and nine. down after a nice run up the middle. LSU with a first and goal and a big opportunity here to really open this game up. Touchdown, Tigers! And he hits the PAT. They're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Nothing left here except to see the clock hit zero. A comeback is just not happening. Makes the catch and look out. That's a great tackle at the 31 yard line. Gain of seven on the play. Easy, 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 easy. Three. Respect. Take four, take four. Respect. Under a minute left in the game. The spike will stop the clock. Third 
Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Grant is waiting for the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. And here comes the offense again. They'll try to make it two touchdowns and two possessions. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. He takes a knee. And so that's going to do it. The Tigers get the victory. 28-7. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.